it's your girl Becky and I'm back for another sketch. I'm just really happy to be able to share this moment with y'all because Hong Kong has been raining and it's been really cold for the past week or so. So to have the sun out like this and to be able to spend the time outside is just really great and I'm so excited to bring you along with me. I've kind of got everything set up in front of me. This is a cup with some water. This is my cup easel, which I got as a Christmas present for myself. I've got my gouache paints and I've got my brushes and I have a sketchbook here taped up to the backboard. Um, this is a gray glass palette that I'm going to be mixing my colors in. And of course, can't forget sunscreen because it is really, really sunny today. One of the things I look out for when I'm deciding where to sit is I make sure that this bit, my sketchbook, is in the shade. And the reason for that is because I've had instances where I basically have the sun shining directly on the sketchbook. So when I went back home and I opened up my sketch, it was really, really, really dark. The reason is because I was sketching it under an insane brightness level. So now that I make sure this is in the shade, I can at least match the values better instead of having it washed out more towards the bright side or the dark side. I generally try to paint with a limited palette. One yellow, one red, one blue, and a white. It's always needed in gouache, and sometimes when I need to go really dark, I use the black, but I try not to use it until I absolutely need to. For the red, I'm using alizarin crimson. For my yellow, because today is such a bright day, I'm using cadmium yellow. Otherwise, if it's a little bit more shaded, I usually use yellow ochre. This is my blue, it's a Prussian blue. All right, so I just toned the canvas with bright blue and I actually haven't decided what to sketch but now that I'm looking up, I see the sun fairy from the text and it's one of the fairies that go between different areas of Hong Kong so I think I'm going to sketch this one. So after toning the page, I try to draw the shape of the boat roughly with the same color and then now I'm trying to merge shapes in the background, putting all those building shapes together, adding a little bit of light, a little bit of shadow, a little bit of the mountain color. And then I'm also trying to carve out the shape of the boat a little bit. The boat is largely white, so it reflects the color of the sky. So I thought I'd leave it blue and I'm gonna cover the other areas like the labels, the green and everything. And now I'm just using some dry brush to put in the color of the waters. And now I'm just trying to carve in all those little, little details such as the windows and also some bits and pieces on the building. This is as far as I can go because as you can see, my subject is gone! So this is truly a lesson that if you're trying to paint, you always go with the subject that you know will move first. And this is the final painting. Oh man, and if you look at that, like the sun is just setting and it's all full of people and full of life. Since I'm so enticed by this scene, I kind of want to challenge myself and sketch this. I am really weak with doing gradients on gouache, but you know what? Why not? So here I am putting down my sketchbook and I'm using just a tape to sort of pin my sketchbook down to the cup easel. And now I'm just toning the sketchbook and also trying to put in some of the shapes of the mountains back there while it's still wet. This is my first time using Cadmium Yellow as a tone. It's very bright. I still don't know how to go about it. It does shine through all the other colors, so that is what I'm keeping in mind. So although I really like the green, the colors are really, really, really vibrant here. So I'm trying to match the vibrancy. In hindsight, not the best course of action, but this is what I'm doing anyway. So here I am carving out the palm trees and it's fun to see how I'm using the brush. It's really interesting to use an easel. I really recommend it. All right, I think I'm done. So 
so I think I'm done for the day. I'm not gonna lie, today's painting session was a little bit rough, but you can't really get better unless you try. Whenever I think I'm doing really bad, my mantra is always, you know what? This is going to be the worst I will be because I know that by doing this, I'm going to improve and I'm going to get a little bit better tomorrow and the day after. And that's totally fine. You know, putting a little bit of work every single time you go out to paint, it's not going to take forever. I think this one took me about 20 minutes each. So it's not a sort of a developed painting. It's more of a sketch. I'm here to capture the moment. I had a really good day. Today was a great day. I am so happy to be out in the sun again. If you like this video, please give a like and comment down below. Share with your friends and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.